Welcome to the Houston Methodist Mobility and Sternal Precautions video. By the end of this video, you will have learned basic techniques to safely get in and out of bed, in and out of a chair, and walk while protecting your healing breastbone, also known as your sternum, after surgery. For six to eight weeks after your heart surgery, it will be very important to protect your healing sternum and chest incision by following sternal precautions. While you are in the hospital, your care team will make individualized mobility and sternal precaution recommendations for you based on your unique situation. This video will review basic mobility techniques using standard sternal precautions. To follow standard sternal precautions, do not push, pull, or lift anything over 10 pounds. This includes carrying children or groceries, mowing the yard, and vacuuming. For reference, a gallon of milk weighs approximately 10 pounds. Avoid reaching behind your back with both arms at the same time. Cross your arms across your chest or hug your heart pillow when you cough, sneeze, or laugh to protect against the force on your chest during these activities. The tighter you squeeze your pillow against your chest, the more support you will feel. Keep your elbows close to your body when performing functional activities like carrying items under 10 pounds and opening doors. When opening doors, it is best to use both arms if the door is heavy. When reaching over your head, your elbows should not go above your shoulders. It is best to wear oversized shirts during the first six to eight weeks after surgery to allow you extra room to safely move your arms while getting dressed. To put on a loose fitting t-shirt, put both arms through the armholes, place your thumbs in the head opening, and place the shirt over your head while keeping your elbows below your shoulders. If you wear a button-up shirt, do one arm at a time and be careful not to reach behind you when you place your arms through the holes. You should avoid driving for six to eight weeks after your surgery. Your surgeon will release you to drive when it is safe for you. It is safe to ride in the car as a passenger and you should always wear a seatbelt. If you choose to sit in the front passenger seat, be sure to move the seat all the way back away from the dashboard. Placing a small towel or your heart pillow between the seat belt and your chest will provide increased comfort for your incision site. While you are in the hospital, members of your care team will assist you with mobility until you are strong enough to perform these actions on your own. Once the care team determines it is safe, your caregivers can also assist you with mobility as demonstrated in this video. While in the hospital, your care team will coach your caregivers on how to safely assist you with changing positions. Now we will review how to safely get in and out of bed using a log roll technique and following standard sternal precautions. Lying flat on your back after surgery may make it difficult to take deep breaths. You can elevate your upper body and head with pillows to ease this discomfort. To safely get in and out of bed, hug your heart pillow and bridge your bottom up off the bed to scoot towards the edge of the bed using your feet and upper back to move your body. Once you are safely positioned, hug your heart pillow and slowly perform a log roll towards the edge of the bed. It is important that you bring the shoulder farthest from the edge of the bed across your chest while rolling. Once you are in a side-lying position, bring your legs over the edge of the bed. You can use the elbow that is against the bed to assist you in sitting up, but be sure to keep your elbow close to your body. Next, scoot your hips forward and place your feet flat on the floor. To get to a standing position off the bed, carefully lean forward with your nose over your toes and push up using your leg strength. If you need assistance getting out of bed, your caregiver can help you roll to your side by placing one hand on your hip and another on your upper back for support. They may then place an arm around your shoulder closest to the mattress and another at the back of the lower thighs to help pull your legs off the bed. When standing, your caregiver can place an arm around your upper back to provide you support. They should be careful not to pull you up by your arm. If you struggle to get to a standing position with your legs only, your care team will guide you on methods to safely use your arms to help you up. To get back into bed from a standing position, sidestep until your bottom is even with where you want to be positioned in the bed. Stand so that the back of your legs are against the bed and slowly lean forward with your nose over your toes as you lower yourself down onto the bed. Gently lower your upper body against the mattress while bringing your legs up onto the bed at the same time. 
Once in a side lying position, bend your knees and keep your arms across your chest. Use the log roll technique by moving your upper body and lower body at the same time until you are positioned on your back. If you need some assistance getting into bed, your caregiver can place an arm around your upper back with their hand on your shoulder blade to provide support as you lower yourself into a seated position. Next, they can keep the arm around your upper back on the side that you want to lie on and position their other hand behind your legs to assist you in raising them onto the bed. You may then complete the log roll technique to lie on your back. It is very important that you stay mobile during your recovery. While in the hospital and at home, you should be up in a chair a minimum of three times per day and out of bed for every meal. During the daytime hours, get up and change positions every two hours to improve circulation throughout your body. To sit down into a chair using standard precautions, move backwards until you feel both your legs against the chair. Slowly lean forward and lower yourself into the chair. If you need assistance, your caregiver can place an arm around your upper back as you lean forward and slowly lower yourself down into the chair. The caregiver should avoid placing their hands under your arm to pull you as this will create extra strain on your sternum. To get up out of the chair using standard sternal precautions, scoot your hips to the front of the chair so that your feet are flat on the ground. Lean forward with your nose over your toes and rise to a standing position. If you need assistance, your caregiver can place their arm around your upper back to help support and guide you as you stand. While you are in the hospital, your care team will provide you individualized instructions on how to safely stand up using your arms. There are three additional ways your care team may educate you on standing from a sitting position. Keep your elbow close to your body when you use these techniques. Standing with both hands on your thighs, standing with one hand on your thigh and one hand on the armrest, standing with two hands on the armrest. Remember, your care team in the hospital will instruct you on a technique that is safest for you. Walking is the best form of exercise after surgery to help build your strength, improve circulation to your body and heart muscle, avoid a blockage in your intestines, and help your body naturally remove the extra fluid you may still have from the surgery. In the hospital and at home, it is important to walk at least four times per day for four to five minutes each. Increase your walking distance each time. If at any point you become short of breath, dizzy, or have chest pain, sit down and take a break. If your symptoms persist, call your doctor. It is not uncommon to feel winded when walking after having heart surgery. Taking slow, deep breaths when you walk, keeping a tall posture, and not walking too fast will help you conserve energy. Not all patients are the same. Some will have more limitations than others, and some will recover quicker than others. Follow the individualized instructions given to you by your physician and care team. Follow-up appointments with your surgeon and cardiologist are very important to track and guide your progress. We wish you the very best on your journey to recovery and wellness.